In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil, and produced fruit, a hundred, or sixty, or thirty-fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we hear Jesus speaking in parables. Now parables are meant to evoke thought, to, for people to think. It's a little cryptic. People have to think, to listen, um, to, to see the, the meaning of the parable. And so Jesus speaks in and uses the parables because those who desire to learn, those who desire to know, those who are, are open, they, 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 will, they will try to understand and they will learn, but others will just kind of dismiss it or ignore it, and, and, and so they, they, they would not benefit from it. So the parable today, Jesus speaks, is about the sower and, and the seed and, and, and the soil. The sower is God. In this case, the sower is Jesus himself. The seed is the Word of God, the Word of God. Jesus is preaching the Word of God. He is... Uh, uh, is, is um, talking about the, the gospel message, the kingdom of God, and so on. He is preaching. He is teaching. And, and, and so that's the seed. The soil is the, the different people and their receptivity. The first soil he mentioned is the path. So the seeds fall on the path. The birds come and eat it right away. So it doesn't grow. Now these are the people who are not responsive to Jesus' teachings. They're, they don't, they're not open. They don't want to learn. They're, they're not, they're not, they hear what he has to say, but, it, there's, but uh, the words have no effect. The words do not uh, change them. Just like the Pharisees and some of the other people who, who just fail to convert. So, and the birds, they represent the, the evil one, uh, the devil who takes away the seed and so it bears no fruit. And so we have some of those people here too. <clears throat> some of us may go to church. We may listen to the Word of God. You may hear me speak uh, during these videos or, and so on, but there's no effect. There's no change. There's no conversion. There's no growth. There's no fruit. Um, and so because some people maybe are just not open or just not receptive, they tune out. They, uh, and so there's, the words do not have effect in their lives. The second type of soil is the rocky ground. Now these are people uh, <clears throat> who, who respond with joy in the beginning, uh, with joy and receptivity, but uh, when the sun comes, it'll scorch whatever little plant that's there, and, and it dies because of the lack of root. And so these are the people who receive the Word of God and are joyful, but when trials come and when hardships come, they fall away easily. So they, their, their faith isn't very deep. The roots are, are not really there because of the lack of soil. So I see a lot of these people as well. They're enthusiastic, but when trials come, they, they, they fall away. Uh, when hardships come, they start to doubt, <clears throat> and, uh, and so on. And the third type of soil is the, the, among the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the thorns, among the thorns. Now these are people who receive the Word of God, but because of worldly anxiety, they're drawn to the things of the world, desire for riches, things like that, then the seed has no room to grow and the thorns which end up choking the, the, the seed, the Word of God, so it fails to, to mature and bear fruit. And the last type of soil is the rich soil. It's deep, it's rich, and so the seed will grow and, and flourish and, and bear abundance of fruit. So what type of soil are you? <coughs> Are you, not, are you on the path, which means you're not open? Are you on the rocky grounds, which, which means your, your roots aren't very deep, you can't persevere in the faith? Or the third, the, the, among the, 
the, uh, <clears throat> the thorns in which you are very worldly and so the, uh, the seeds bear, cannot bear much, uh, much life. And the last one is the soil, the rich soil that bears an abundance of fruit for the glory of God. We thank you, Jesus, for teaching us in parables, helping us to understand the different receptivity to your word. Help us to be that rich soil, to receive your word with love and, and faith, and so that it may flourish in our life, so that we may be converted and be holy and be pleasing to you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.